everyone this is hello in yellow design today i'm going to show you how to make three layer ruffle dress it's a beautiful dress it's a step-by-step -step tutorial you can see how the dress look and the center back it has a button loop at the center back of the dress and i will also show you how you can adjust your own pattern paper if you're going to make this cute dress if you don't know how to make basic body pattern paper i'll put the link on my description box below so that you can go and watch that video please watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out it is very important to watch video until the end and you know everything step by step and don't forget to make a comment down below if you have any questions my tutorial is helpful thumbs up thank you all so much for watching our video if you're a new subscriber you are welcome to hello angel design if you're all subscriber thank you thank you thank you so much for staying with us we love you and we appreciate you very very much and let's get started first thing that you have to do you take your front and back pattern paper what you are going to do you take your ruler or your measuring tape from the waistline add 0 0.5 inches or 1.3 centimeter then you place your ruler at the arm or you go ahead and connect it down to the waist line and you also repeat the same process on the back pattern paper add 0 0.5 inches or 1.3 centimeter place your ruler at the arm hole go ahead and connect it down once you have done that go ahead and add seam allowance around the shoulder neckline arm hole side seam and at the bottom edge you also repeat the same process on the back pattern paper add seam allowance around the shoulder neckline arm hole side seam and at the bottom edge do not add seam allowance at the front pattern paper because we are going to place it on fold so once you have done that, you go ahead and cut it out. I have added my seam allowance and I've also added my 0 0.5 inches or 1.3 centimeter at the both side seam on the front and on the back pattern paper. And I've also shown on my previous video on how you can add more inches at the side seam of your pattern paper. Go ahead and cut out your pattern paper and then we can now place it on our fabric and cut it out. This is my fabric. I'm using this fabric. It's a cutting fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice. I will just go ahead and pin my front pattern paper on my fabric. When sure when you're pinning your pattern paper on your fabric, you can see my fabric. You fold it into two, so that means your fabric is on fold. You place your front pattern paper on the fold side pin it all around and then cut it out i have cut out my front top this is how it is and i will also do go ahead and fold my fabric into two like this and i will pick my back pattern paper place it on fold and go ahead and cut it out remember to also cut your lining The next thing that we have to do, we are going to cut out our skirt. I have fold my fabric into two. So I will take the measurement of my skirt. The length of my skirt, if you're using centimeter, measure 38.5 centimeter. If you're using inches, measure 15 inches. The width of my skirt, if you're using centimeter, measure 28.5 centimeter. If you're using inches, measure 11.25 inch what you are going to do you take your front top that is your front top dress so you can see the way i place my front top dress at the fold hem of the skirt and this is the fold hem of my top dress you place it together like this what you are going to do you take your ruler this is where my top end so you place your ruler like this a diagonal way you just go ahead and connect it down take your marker you just go ahead and connect it all the way down like this once you have done that go ahead and cut it out 
I have cut it out. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to cut two pieces for this kit. One for the front, one for the back. You place the first pieces on top of it. You're going to use this as a pattern to cut the second pieces out. You just place it like this. You can either go ahead and secure that with a pin or you can just go ahead and start cutting out your skirt. The next thing that we have to cut, we are going to cut a strap of fabric. So I have two fabric right here. So what you're going to do, I'm going to take my measuring tape. You measure the length of your fabric. The length of my fabric I'm going to take is six and a half inches. If you're using centimeter, go ahead and measure 16.5 centimeter. You just go ahead and measure it all the way down six and a half inches once you have measured all the way down six and a half inches that is the length the width of my fabric i'll place my measuring tape from the very beginning i'm going to take a measurement of 34 inches if you're using centimeter measure 86.5 centimeter once you have done that, go ahead and cut it out. So I will just go ahead and take my ruler and connect all this mark together. Once I am done with that, I will go ahead and cut it out. So this strap of fabric, when you're going to cut it, I make sure you cut six pieces of strap of fabric because we are going to gather it on the skirt. I have cut out my fabric. So these are the six pieces right here. And I've cut out my top the top dress both the lining and the made top this is how it is and i've also cut out my boat skirt so this is how i cut my fabric let's put the dress together first thing that you have to do you open your front top this is the front of my top and this is the lining make sure both front fabric are facing each other take it to your sewing machine stitch the boat armhole and the neckline do not stitch the shoulder yet you also take your back top this is the back of my top you place your ruler at the mid part of your back top and you take your marker measure down eight centimeter once you measure down that eight centimeter take your scissors go ahead and cut it down to that eight centimeter this is where my eight centimeter end and you will also repeat the same process with your lining make sure that you cut it down to that eight centimeter so i will put them together and then cut it out i have cut it to that eight centimeter the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine stitch the both armhole neckline if you're going to stitch the center back, you fold a piece of fabric. The width of my fabric is one inch or 2.5 centimeter. Fold the both row edges inside and then fold it again. Then take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. Once you have top stitching, then fold it into two like this, the way I'm folding it right now. You fold it into two. From the neckline, make sure you measure that one centimeter. That is where you're going to stitch the neckline. Measure inside one centimeter. Then you take your marker, you mark it. This fold hem side, you place it inside your fabric like this. While the raw edges will be facing out. Then you place your lining on top of it. Then you go ahead and stitch it all the way down. Once you have done stitching this, SS, you go ahead and cut it out. Go ahead and stitch the arm or neckline and at the center back. Remember to place your body loop at the center back when you are stitching. I have top stitched my top dress, the armhole, and the neckline. I've also did the same thing with the front top dress. This is the front of my fabric. We are going to put the back 
inside the front fabric, you take your safety pin, place it at the shoulder of the top dress. So what you're going to do, you turn your fabric like this, you open your front top. You can see that both front fabric, this is the back top dress, the both front fabric are facing each other while the lining will be facing each other. And you just pass it through the shoulder. And place your shoulder properly. Once you have done that, go ahead and secure that with a pin. And you also repeat the same process on the second side. Place your safety pin, pass it through the shoulder. Once you have done that, go ahead and secure that with a pin. I have pinned it together. Take it to your sewing machine. Go ahead and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, cut out a little bit from the seam allowance and turn your top dress inside out. Once you have done that, you take your skirt. So I put the both front fabric together. I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch one side of the skirt. I'm not stitching the other side, just one side of the skirt. Once I am done with that, I will overlock it with zigzag stitches. Once you have done that, you take your raffle pieces. So you're going to also put them together, both front fabric. You can see that I've stitched my gather stitch thread. You're also going to stitch one side of the raffle pieces. So you can see this is two pieces. And I will take the second pieces, I will do the same thing. Put the both front fabric together like this. And also stitch one side of the second raffle pieces. And the third raffle pieces, I will repeat the same process. So go ahead and stitch them together. I have stitched the shoulder seam of my top dress. This is how it is once you turn it inside out. And I've also stitched the side seam of my skirt, just one side of the side seam. This side, I haven't stitched it yet because I have to take the measurement for the skirt. So what you are going to do, I will place my measuring tape like this from the waistline. The total length is 15 inches so i'm going to divide that by three so i'm going to measure down five five inches so if you're also using centimeter you can measure 12.7 centimeter so i'll place my measuring tape i'm just going to measure all around five inches once i have measured that i will take my ruler and i will connect the mark together So this will be the first layer. So I'm going to also go ahead and measure down five inches. From the mark that you marked before, you also go ahead and measure down five inches. So this is how it is. What you are going to do, you will turn your skirt. You repeat the same process on the other side of the skirt. I have connected my mark together. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, put your skirt together, the side seam together. Take it to your sewing machine. Go ahead and stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Once you have done that, you take your top dress you're also going to put the both side seam together. Go ahead and put the both side seam together like this. Both lining facing each other, both made fabric facing each other. Once you have put the both side seam together, take it to your sewing machine, stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, you also take your raffle pieces, put the other side seam together, you're going to top stitch. 
put it together like this, go ahead and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance, depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Once you have done that, fold the raw edges inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter, go ahead and hem your raffle pieces. I have stitched the side seam of my skirt together and I've also do the same thing with my raffle pieces and I have hemmed my raffle pieces around. The next thing that you have to do, you open your raffle fabric, you take your skirt, push it inside. This is the side seam of my raffle pieces. This is the side seam of my skirt. I'm going to put them together like this. Make sure both sides seam are matched and secure that with a pin. And you come to the other side, the side seam of my raffle fabric, the side seam of my skirt, put them together, secure that with a pin. Once you have done that, go ahead and gather the raffle fabric on the skirt. This will be the waistline of my skirt. I will just go ahead and gather it around. I have gathered my first raffle layer pieces. Take it to your sewing machine. Go ahead and stitch it all around. Once you have done that, remove your gather stitch thread. So go ahead and top stitch. My seam allowance is one centimeter. I have stitched my first layer. This is how it is. I remove my gather stitch thread. The next thing that we are going to do, we are going to gather the second layer on this skirt. So you open your first layer like this. You just push them out of the way. And then you pick your second layer fabric. So when you're going to gather it, you're not going to place it the way we place the first layer. So we are going to place it in a different way. You open it like this. This is the side seam of my raffle fabric. And this is the side seam of my skirt. So I'm going to put them together like this. Both front fabric are facing each other. You go ahead and put the both side seam together. And then you secure that with a pin. You come to the other side, you repeat the same process. Open your skirt, just put your hand inside, put the both side seam together and secure that with a pin. So what you're going to do, you're going to gather the skirt because this is how we are going to stitch it. Once you gather the skirt and you finish stitching and then you push the fabric like this, and then top stitch all over again because we don't want to have the gather stitch on the front of the skirt. We want the gather stitch to be hidden. So you are going to gather it like this. You just go ahead and pull your gather stitch thread. Pull it like this and you start to gather your raffle fabric. I have pinned my raffle fabric on my skirt. You can see how it is. What I'm going to do, I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch it all around. Once I am done stitching, I will remove the gather stitch thread and then turn my fabric over like this and top stitch it all around. Once you have stitched it together, you also go ahead and repeat the same process with your last fabric.
I have top stitch my raffle pieces together. This is how it is. You can see my top stitch. Once you stitch it like this and then you fold it on top of it and then you go ahead and top stitch or you can take it to your ironing board and give it a good press and then all this raffle fabric will fall very nice and you go ahead and top stitch. So this is how it look right now. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to place our bodies on the waistline of this skirt so what you are going to do you turn your skirt inside out so this is my skirt i have turned it inside out the next thing that you have to do this is my makeup you're going to put it inside the skirt you push it inside the skirt like this i'm going to stitch both the lining and the main fabric together at the same time you just go ahead and put the both sides seam of your skirt and top together this is the side seam put them together make sure both seam are matched and then you secure that with a pin then you come to the other side that is the other side seam the side seam of my top both the lining and the main fabric and my skirt make sure that both seam are matched and secure that with a pin so what you're going to do you just go ahead and pin your skirt on the main top go ahead and secure that with a pin once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance or depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric go ahead and stitch them together I have stitched it all around the next thing that you have to do you just go ahead and pull your dress out like this this is how it will look once you have done stitching it's beautiful and easy to make the next thing that you have to do you go ahead and hem your skirt fold inside one centimeter fold it again one centimeter and go ahead and give it a top stitch for the waistline Take it to your sewing machine. Use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. If you have soldier, use soldier to overlock the raw edges. Once you have done that, push the seam, the seam allowance of your waistline, push it towards the bodies and give it a top stitch all around the waistline. Once you have done that, your dress is finally ready. Remember to support us by subscribing, turn on your notification bell button, select all options if my tutorial is helpful, thumbs up, make a comment down below if you have any question. You all should have a wonderful day. Bye.